Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Tyler, and I'm here to let you know that The Little Match Girl is no perfect movie. And it's not really a feature-length film either. It's actually a six-minute short that was originally meant for Fantasia 2006. Fantasia 2006 never came to be, so it got re-released -re on the short film festival circuit before being put on the Little Mermaid DVD special feature because Little Mermaid and The Little Match Girl are both adaptations of Hans Christian Andersen stories. And, you know, out of all seven adaptations of Hans Christian Andersen stories with Disney, this, in my opinion, really captures the dark, uncompromising, but still very optimistic tone that Andersen was known for with his stories. For those who don't know, The Little Match Girl is about a lonely orphan in Russia who is desperately trying to sell matches to those who are more fortunate than her. And after a very unsuccessful day, she goes home, she uses the very few matches that she has left in order to stay warm, and she begins to fantasize about a better life for herself and for the ones that she loves that may or may not come to her in the future. Now it goes without saying for a short like this that the animation is absolutely superb. It feels very strange saying that a six minute short has better animation and tells a story without dialogue better than a 90 minute blockbuster would but you know what it's absolutely true because it uses some of the exact same animation musical techniques that you would expect from disney renaissance films that were just so magical and wonderful wonderful even in their most darkest times and it definitely helps that they hired lion king co-director roger allers to direct this exact short he uses the computer animation production system that I talked about on and on in my Disney Renaissance reviews where it creates a lot of really good long tracking shots that you would see in something like Beauty and the Beast, Tarzan, or Atlantis. And just like those films, the shot choices and the moving dolly shots combined with the music portray Russia in such a large populated canvas in such a limited amount of time. It does have a darker, more muted color palette than most Disney movies would in order to portray such a dreary atmosphere. And as you're watching the movie on screen, you just feel very cold and sad as this character is going through the entire time. But weirdly enough, the colors still do kind of have a warm, beautiful feel to them, especially during the fantasy sequences where they are bright and vibrant and they're full of the optimism that the Match Girl is dreaming about the entire time. And it definitely helps that the little Match Girl herself is a very endearing but still very flawed character because she does look at young children about her age who do have more than her, more love, more comfort, more valuables. And while she isn't really mad about them having more, you can definitely tell that she is envious and that she lets the fantasies distract her from the things that are important in her own reality. But nevertheless, she still has this, this really tough love philosophy that no matter how hard things get, if she doesn't give up on selling her goods, she will be rewarded for it in the future. And without spoiling anything, the ending was... It was a shock to my system. I was kind of suspecting that they might have pulled it off, and I'm not going to spoil what it is, but it's a very bittersweet ending that is still very hopeful and gives some I don't know what else to say other than it gives more optimism to this main character for the future ahead of her and it's the type of Disney ending that you would never expect to happen because sure enough Disney hated the ending that Allers gave to them and they tried to come up with alternate endings and believe it or not they gave in and and they decided to go with the darker ending just because it matched up the tone of the rest of the entire short the music, which is done by the Emerson String Quartet covering Baronin's String Quartet No. 2 in D Major, is absolutely wonderful. It also has those bittersweet but optimistic beats that fit the story, the atmosphere, and the animation very nicely. The one problem I really have with the music is that it moves at a very fast pace. I felt like there were moments throughout this short where... If they had stopped the music during some of the more somber moments or just stopped it for at least a couple seconds, I think the more emotional moments would have been a lot more impactful because I've actually watched this short twice. And the first time, it really, really hit hard emotion-wise, but I couldn't really remember the musical beats. I thought that they had gone by so quickly. So I rewatched the short again 
just a couple minutes before filming this just to make sure that I felt the same way about pretty much everything else that I've just said. And not gonna lie, it, um, it did lose a little bit of the emotional impact because I knew exactly what was going to happen. And listening to the music made me remember how it went because the first time I didn't really remember the music itself. But I still felt that it moved a little bit quickly in some parts, even though the story, for the most part, moves at a slow and natural pace. Lots of fade-ins that make it feel as if time has really gone by. And one other thing before I forget, the animation also provides a lot of subtle hints without providing you any dialogue whatsoever. You know for a fact that this girl is all by herself because you never see her with anyone. You can tell that she's homeless just by looking at her feet. The fact that she has these ribbons wrapped around her feet as opposed to actual shoes really sums up just how desperate she is in a situation. And those little hints, you don't immediately pick up on them, but once you see them, you realize how desperate of a situation she is and you feel incredibly depressed just watching her try effortlessly and effortlessly to at least sell a couple matches and make a few bucks for herself and it's just it's heartbreaking but as i said before it's it's not really as rewatchable as short as i would have liked it to because the second time i did watch it it still felt depressing but it didn't feel shocking and it didn't feel as impactful and i felt that as if it was the music moving too quickly that it didn't sell the most emotional points because I was expecting to actually cry during the short. Doug Walker, of all people, cried during the short, and it makes total sense why. And who knows, if I watch this one or two more times in the future, I might actually feel just as emotional because with Mickey's Christmas Carol, I didn't actually get emotional watching it as a kid, but as an adult, it still hits really hard to this day, and it's unbelievable. But nevertheless, I've got no problem saying that I actually did feel sad throughout the majority of this short. The animation, the music, the character development, it all goes together so... It goes together so wonderfully to create a very dark and honest but still hopeful Christmas story about the most important things about the season. That it's more important to care about what you have as opposed to what you're dreaming of or what you're wishing for. Which is the best thing a Christmas movie can ever do. And for all of those reasons, I'm going to give The Little Match Girl a 4.5 out of 5. If you have it on Disney+, Plus, definitely check it out. I did not have it on Disney+, Plus for whatever reason. I had to buy it off of YouTube for three bucks. But I mean, for six minutes short, that's actually pretty decent. In any case, guys, thank you as always for watching. If you have seen The Little Match Girl, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. And let me know... um if I should keep or ditch this look, because um, I was hoping I was going to get out to the store to get actual hair products for a project like this, but um, as you can tell, the cornstarch isn't exactly working all that well. So be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to stay tuned for more reviews, and be sure to like and subscribe. Take care.